Yo guys, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. My name is Jaster. Today we're going to be playing another little indie horror game here on the channel. And this one, of course, is a episode from Fears of Fathom. Now, I actually never played any of these. We actually did do episode one, Home Alone, a couple of weeks back. By the way, interesting little thing. As I was recording that video, an earthquake actually happened here in LA, which was pretty crazy. And if you guys want to check that episode out, I have a link down below. Really do appreciate it. But today we're going to be checking out episode two, which is called the North wood hitchhike and yeah very interested in these series just because they're based i believe upon real stories which makes them pretty creepy but yeah i also like that whole like playstation 2 retro vibe graphics as well so yeah we have a new chapter coming out later this month so i gotta make my way up to that one so yeah if you guys enjoy these videos make sure you guys hit that like button subscribe to the channel leave a comment down below it does go a long way supporting making my videos get out there because as a small creator trying to fight the algorithm is tough out here so i really do appreciate it and without further ado let's check out fears of fathom episode two shall we holly gardner a 19 year old on an interstate drive experiences unusual happenings that leads to an unplanned stay at a motel little did she know what was transpiring down in norwood valley here's a fathom episode two norwood hitchhike june 16. All right, let's see what we get ourselves into with this one. This happened to me when I was 19. I'm a little over 21 now. I still remember this very clearly because of how creeped out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first, but getting it out may help even just a little bit. I was one of those people that loves gaming conventions. Nice. I go to every convention to get the chance to, and sometimes even meet some of my online friends. Though my parents weren't always thrilled at the idea of going on interstate drives, but a plane ticket would have been too expensive. This convention was, <clears throat> this convention I was at went great. And it was now the day to drive back home. Damn, on the way back home, huh? But I, w <clears throat> but when I set off, I soon realized the traffic was horrible. I decided that I'd take the long way to avoid the traffic. It was a little over a 12-hour drive. Damn. But hey, people that are very passionate about what they like. All right, we're in. We are in, guys. Damn, through the... I really like this whole, like, texting messages thing. All right. Uh, hopefully, I'm not over there crashing, man. All right, we got one from Dad. Drive safe, Holly. And then we have one from Aiden. Stuck in the biggest traffic jam of the country. That sucks. It's not too good here either. I think it's the people from the convention. That's it. I'm rerouting here. You got to do what you got to do. Damn. I think like if you're going to, it's a 12 hour drive too. like. Make sure you plan out in time where you, you still have like, you know, driving in daylight. Probably head out like a. 5 a.m. 6 a.m. You know, got another message from dad. Where did you reach? Still about six hours away from the city. Got stuck in jam. Got that little creepy music in the background. Oh, when he gas. You halfway through the drive, I realized I was low on gas. I need to stop somewhere. You talk too much, now you fucked up. I don't ever think 
<clears throat> I hope this is music here in the background isn't copyrighted, so I'm gonna be trying to be talking a little bit over it, so we're not actually trying to get the lyrics in here, but I hope it's not. All right, Dad, I told you to take the, the flight. Too late now, Dad. Now you gotta just... Another one from Dad. I'm gonna actually just... Set this going. Oh, Holly, I'm gonna be late when you reach back. It's gonna be late when you reach back. Hope you're feeling all right. So far, so good, Pops. So far, so good. Oh, gas station coming up. Here we go. All right, here we go. Let's get out. Put some gas. All right, we got some people here. The Norwood gas station. Let's go inside. Talk to the clerk. Damn, man. Ooh, this this place seen better days. Hey, man, you good? Hey, what's up, fella? Ooh, you going on those potato chips? You like the potato chips? I gotta text your mom. Holly? Mom? And you got the cigarettes on deck too, man? Got the death sticks on you? Ma'am? Hi, can I get $10 on pump two? We good? You heading to the bridge by yourself? The bridge? The Norwood Valley Road, I mean, not a, not a lot of people head down there this time of year. Be careful. Thanks. I'm not joking, ma'am. Be careful. It's not safe out here. Shit. For about a century now, many people have been going missing down here. Oh, shit. And people who went looking for them never return. Holy crap, dude. Locals say the Norwood Valley monster had torn them and hung them upside down on trees. What the hell? Can I use a toilet? Yeah, right. Well, thanks for the gas. Holy crap. Hey, man. You the sketchy one? Yeah, keep walking. Keep walking. You know what's good for you. And one other thing. If you see a woman in a white or blue gown trying to get a ride, do not stop. Just keep... Just step on the gas hard as you can. Pedal to the metal. Who is she? Some people say that she died in a car accident there on prom night. Some say that she seeks vengeance after she was murdered there. Holy shit. Regardless, she's out for blood. Whatever you do, never ever, under any circumstance, Pick up a hitchhiker. Yep. Those people are, are out there on the road putting their thumbs up, out. They ain't what you think, ma'am. They just ain't. Well, thanks for letting me know. Wouldn't do that no matter what. All right, we got some messages from mom here. I don't know if you'll find any shop at this hour, but we're out of dog food. Could you get something for Milo? I'll pay you back. Yeah, mom. I'm out here driving home from a 12 hour drive and you still want me to stop by the damn store? Sure. Sure, mama. Do we have to actually pump the gas? I hope not. I don't think so. Or do we? Let's go ahead and see. Where's our pump though? Okay. Oh damn it! Hit the wrong button there. Doesn't say. I mean, we still need gas. I can't look all the way back. Great. 
fix myself here. Sorry, guys. I really hate how it's kind of like it takes forever to go stop. I don't know if I have to drive to a certain one. Shit. She did say pump two, right? Oh, there it is. Well, let's go ahead and drive up to pump two here. Holy crap. Our drive is bad. That's something I don't like about mouse and keyboard. I don't like playing like driving games with mouse and keyboard. Uh, I don't like it. Stop, stop, stop. Stop. All right, so we can actually do it now. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, there we go. I filled the tank and I was off to the road again. Since mom asked, I had to buy something for Milo from the store. Oh, we're going back to the store. Hot dogs for two twenty-five. Is it the combo? Better be the combo. Espresso for 160, macchiato, flat white, latte, cappuccino. Okay, okay, we got some coffee choices here. Got some coffee choices. I like that. All right, dog food. Is that dog food right here? Yeah, it is. I'll take that. I'll take this dog food, sir. Yeah, this dog food, sir. Put it right there for you. You got pumped too. Thanks. I want this dog food too now, though. Come on. Is that the wrong one? I want that one. That has to be it, right? This guy. You heard about the Norwood Valley monster? How's your night going? He just looked at me. Yeah, he's sketchy, bro. Cola? Oh, we can actually buy one? Sure, I'll take one. Ooh, and consuming these items increase your sprint speed. Sugar rush, huh? Give me that shit, then. Nice. Oh, we can actually run now. I'll get another one. Shit. <laughs> I'll be running like the flush. Now they ain't gonna, now they ain't gonna get us. We're gonna run away super fast. We get another one actually get up on this sugar rush oh hell yeah there we go now we can run that's pretty cool i mean that is the dog food anything else there we go i mean okay How do we... I can't really check for the objective. It was... I'm just taking it, bro. Alright. How do I pay for this? Oh, there we go. Here we go. Kind of a little weird there. I guess I got you. Got to be holding it. Got the dog food. We're on our way. I could just put that in the trunk. All right, right there. Oh, don't want that falling out. Get it up in there. You put that in there. I don't like how that's. There we go. What the hell? Did I pick something else up? Kind of wonky, man. Oh, I should do. I should do it. Let's get on home. Oof. 
being on the road, you do realize a thing. Monsters truly do exist. Yeah, the bad drivers, huh? And every single one of them looks just like you and me. Damn. That the truth. It's not expire or anything, right? Surprising there was dog food at the gas station. All right. Wait, how do I turn the headlights off? The hill? There we go. Is that a car up ahead? Oh crap. Headlights tweaking? Nah, 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 nah. This guy's gonna think we're over here flashing on, man. Get it out of the way, man. Oh, he's, he's speeding up now. He got the hint. It wasn't me that turned them off then, huh? See? It's just random, man. I wonder if we're actually going to see any of these hitchhikers. Everything's chilling right now. I should have got you driving for a little bit, huh? Oh, I think this definitely would be. I remember some time ago, I drove like through the. I mean, if you guys are familiar with LA, I drove like where the. Um, what's that place called? Oh, this is a bridge. We're getting the name of it. The Griffith Observatory, like uh, around the mountains. I remember I drove one time, like late at night through the mountains, and it's pretty creepy, man. That shit is creepy. Imagine, like, just. Oh, getting some interference. Like, seeing somebody. That shit would be fucking creepy, bro. All right, what's going on here, man? Getting some interference. There are UFO driving over us. Damn. Getting worse, dude. Holy. Hey, what's up with that car right there? Drive you guys. Oh, bunny. Go, 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 go. Probably you guys hear my dogs in the background outside. Barking at the air or something. <laughs> There's this very weird thing about that night. Oh, crap. I saw two big logs in the middle of the road blocking the way ahead. All right, let's go check this out. It's almost seemed as if someone had deliberately put those there, but I didn't think much of it at the time. Move those. Those were heavy. Watch somebody doink us. Buddy out here. Get out of the way. Can I maybe not move because of the car? I had to move the locks to go ahead. All right, trying to move it. We're a little slow to move. No, 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 the other way, buddy. There you go.
Is that good enough? Oh, I guess I have to... It's very weird, the controls. Alright, we can get going. Ah, oh, damn it. Thought I could drive past the logs, but those wouldn't budge. Oh my god, engine, dude. The car wouldn't start back up. Oh, somebody messed with it while we were in the freaking thing, man. And this radio is getting annoying, too. What do we got under the hood here? And just like that, I was stranded in the middle of nowhere with no phone service. Oh, great. There we go. Turn that damn radio off. I'm not saying that I was starting to believe whatever the bullcrap... Well, at least it used to be. They couldn't read... But I would be lying if I said I didn't feel slightest. Gotta keep up with the damn text. I don't mean to make this sound like a cliche horror story, but cliche horror story. But throughout my life, I was told not to take rides from strangers. But at that moment, I had no choice. Damn, we're gonna be the hitchhiker now. I was scared to think how long it would take for someone to pass. Grab, dude. Ten twenty-three p.m. It's getting later. Time passed by. I saw a car nearing. Yo, hey, man, what's your deal? The hell's your problem, man? Could have took my ass. Pure evil. Damn. I didn't understand how somebody could leave another human being stranded like that. The hell is this problem, man? Now what? More time gonna pass by? 1043. Was it like 20 minutes? So we can f Car's not moving still. Damn. What am I gonna do? Oh, hey man. Hey. Oh, stopping. Let's go. Hey man, I got stranded. I need some help. Maybe take me to the local, you know, hotel. Nice truck, man. Oh, what the? Hey, you gonna help me, sir? You're the girl from the gas station. Hi, thank you so much for stopping. Didn't think anyone would stop here for me. What are you trying to do out here? I think my car just broke down. I can't call for help. There's no phone service. You think I can get a ride? Where are you heading to? Just up the road, just the nearest stop where I can call for help. Hop in. Thanks so much. Could you wait till I get my stuff? Hurry up. Just throw it in the back. I won't be here for too long. All right. It just dips. What is this? The bag? Coming, sir. Don't leave just yet. Is that, is that everything or do I need to get more? Well, I guess not. That'd be cool if we had a flashlight of some sort. Can't close that? Not a good idea to leave our... Hood open like that. We come back and it's gonna be just metal sitting there. that there I guess we got to get all our bags one more 
that there. I hope that's the last of it. Should be the last of it. All right. Still not? Hurry up. I need to get moving now. <laughs> Can you help me with my stuff? That was all the bags, wasn't it? What else do I need to get? What is this? I'm telling you, I literally gotta take everything out of the freaking trunk. Got me going back and forth like that, huh? I'm mean, doing chores out here. I'm going to be like, wow, if I literally did not have to <laughs> bring everything from my trunk. Can I actually close that? All right. Literally the last of it. Can't forget the dog chow. I'm done. Finally, now hop in. Be quick. All right, there we go. Let's get out of here. Thanks, sir. Let's get going. So how's your day, man? Chilling? So you won't tell me who you are? Where you're going? I'd rather not say if that's okay. I live really close from here. I was driving home. And that piece of crap broke down on me. Jason? What? My name's Jason. Jason Voorhees? I'm Holly. I'm Holly, nice to meet you, Jason. I hope you're not that Jason butchering teenagers out here near camps. You're really lucky I had to be on this side of the town tonight. Is that so? I'm pretty sure you're the one that messed up my car, man. I must say, you are one brave young woman. How's that? What is that supposed to mean? You got any clue what happened to your car back there? I think it was a battery. It's an old car. I don't know. It never broke down on me like that ever before. It's my dad's. It's pretty old. Yeah. You probably freaking messed it up, huh? Hmm. Pretty spooky out here. So what? Do you think about what he told you back at the gas station? I didn't listen to a single word. He really creeped me out. Interesting. The idiot tells that to every person traveling down here. Huh. And we gotta keep talking to him? So is it true? What? The monster lets... See, I've never seen the monster for myself, but... There are... There are some things, and I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them. Hey, listen, I don't want to sound like that moron, but just remember this. You don't bother them, and you don't... And you don't be bothered. Huh. Just trying to mind my business, man. Trying to get through here, you know, trying to get back home. You know, I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before. I'm not the best with people. Well, thanks for your apology, man. <sighs> Gave me you there safe and I accept your apology. 1208 AM. After a little bit of small talk, he draw me by a motel. 
Apparently they offered a roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful, there are all kinds of people out there, he said ominously before leaving. Oh, alright. We're at the motel. Oh, they got a thing right there. We'll pick up our car. Hey, what up, man? The man was putting out the creepiest vibes imaginable. Yeah, with that creepy freaking mustache. Gal, need a room to shack up for the night? How much is it for a room? Um, yes, I'm only going to be here for a few hours. 40 for a single. Pay cash only. There you go. Room number nine right over there. Got the room key. Take that. $90. Tommy will take care of it next morning. In the morning. Cool. Good. I'll let Tommy know. And one last thing. Try not to wake the other guests. They might not take take very nicely to it. Okay. What am I going to wake them up for? Room nine. That's room one. Somebody's watching TV over here. Yo, this guy got his door open. Oh, shit. Room five. Literally like a cross, huh? Yep. Oh, we're getting some messages in. From dad, not delivered. From Aiden. Hey, where you at? Your dad's calling me. It's not expired anything, right? Holly and they're asking. They're asking. Here we go. It was nice and warm inside. Let's close that up. Except there was a smell, a type of musky smell you get from old houses. Guess we might have to look around. Anybody in here? No weirdos? Oh! What the hell? What are you doing here? Yeah, exactly. What are you doing here? I'm. You scared the crap out of me. Yeah. Who are you? I'm Tommy. Yeah, Tommy, huh? Tommy. Always gotta be a Tommy that's always a creepo. Always gotta be a Tommy girl. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm Tommy. Room service here at Roadway Inn, the finest step over in Norwood. What are you doing in here? Yeah, you know, cleaning stuff. Guy at the front desk gave me this room. I'm going to have to ask you to step outside while I make the room. The hell? A jump scare right there. Where is my stuff? That homeboy stole it, bro. Is that it right there? Oh, it has to be it. I'm telling you how to make me, make me go back and forth. Oh, shit, man. We can get... Two things at once. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, the game's not very good at telling you what you can or can't do. I mean, it is a simple game, but... Yeah, this guy's creeping. Oh, I just heard somebody lift up their blinds. We're running. We're running. Can we get more? Yes. Let's see if we can get it faster. Get another cola. Here we go. One more. Maximum speed. Here we go. that you only had two hands 
Oh, see, there we go. We're faster. We're running. We're running. Throw that there. They keep opening it. What the hell is your freaking deal, man? Can't mind your own business. All right, the last of it. Ooh, 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 ooh. That sugar rush going. All right. Had a word with Joe about the situation. What is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. But don't you worry, it's safe here. I go get your car. And also, the room's phone is not working. If you need anything, just ask at the front desk. Damn, this guy, he's got the creepy face. We've been trying to get it fixed, but we haven't been seeing enough guests lately. But you have a good night. Whoa, hey, hey what, what's your deal, man? Pushing me out of the damn way? What the hell? Damn, man. What a night. What a night for a fright. What's next? Close that. Turn the TV on. It's Superman! Oh, they literally actually have it. <laughs> Don't work. Damn it. What else do we do? Pretty cool, you got Superman going on. I guess go to sleep? Yo! Call it foresight, but there was something very off about this place. I couldn't help shake the feeling that something isn't wasn't right. The feeling tiredness was overcoming by anxiety. A hot cup of coffee could help, I thought to myself. We gotta go back over there, huh? We lost our maximum speed? I think there was coffee inside here. No? I could have sworn I seen coffee somewhere. Water. Oh, we can actually switch it. Soda can. Carrot drink. Orange drink can. Milk chocolate. Nachos. Chocolate bar. Damn. 20 cents? If only. They don't have chocolate, uh, coffee here, huh? They didn't have coffee here, right? Nah. Hmm. So what was it in my room? Let's go check it out. I mean, it's not... Not right. Then am I going to get coffee? Hmm. Oh, right here, man. There we go, an espresso, let me get that. <sighs> Consuming these items will helps you stay awake. Shit for how the night's going.
What's happening? The hell? What is this? What the hell is going on, man? He put something in that coffee? Oh, crap. Oh, no. So we can make it back to our room. Dad. Oh, man. They did something to that freaking... Coffee, man. What was that? Oof. The hell was that about, man? Three eighteen AM. I was sedated. Holy shit. Oh, the phone works now? Yo. Hello? Anybody there? Yo. Oh. What the hell? No way. All right, let's try this again, shall we? Guess we got the bad ending there. We got caught. All right. Didn't feel safe going out. that guy in the freaking thing again man is there a way to avoid that didn't feel like going out right there yo who is it joe from front desk open the door What up, Joe? Didn't I specifically tell you not to wake anyone up? I have complaints. What are you making all those goofy noises for? Wherever it is, whatever it is, just keep it down, miss. Is that why your eyes are all red? Yeah, what happened? What's up with the coffee, man? Are you messing with me? We don't have any, no coffee machine here. What the hell? It's right over there. Follow me. Okay, okay, here. I've had enough of your crazy goons here. For once, I thought we had a sober guest, but I guess I'm the crazy one here. I hate my job. Yeah, over here, man. Follow me. Come over here. Yo, that person is sketchy, bro. They put a false coffee machine there? It's not there no more. And it's dark here too, man. The hell? Yo, it's not here no more. It's dark here, man. Some lights. I swear to God, it was right here. What is it? What happened? Go back to the room. I said go back now. Shit. I'm out of here then. 
There should be some medication in your room that should offer you some relief. Check the table by the TV. I ain't trusting you for shit, man. And what's with that little red hue on my right side, man? Hmm. You said by the just go to bed. Hmm. And then here. Close it. Just wash her face. <clears throat> Good. Ready for bed? Yes, no bed. Oh, there it is. I didn't need it. Requires water. This better not be drugs, man. I definitely... I wouldn't be taking shit, bro. Can't trust that? Hell no. Nah. Now we're going to bed. No bed. Yo, what was that? We got some. Someone took a picture, bro. He goes. Standing outside my door? Yo. Hello. Yo. Hello. Yo. Please open the door. I need help. What do you want? I need your help. Please, please open the door. Hell no, nah, I ain't opening that fucking door. You better get while the game's good, man. I know you're in there. Better see if we can fucking call the cops, man. Can okay, access the phone. I ain't opening that door, man. Please leave. I just need to talk to you. I swear I'm not a cop. Pretty lady, come on. Oh, what? Yo.
Boom! You knocked them out! To this day, I find it really weird that the manager feared not to get police involved as it would have affected the motel's reputation and let go of the situation. I believe that the town could have been a home to a cult or a drug ring or possibly something even worse. Tommy arrived with the car after what felt like a year and everyone <clears throat> on a long trip again. I would always take airplanes. Damn, man. Ooh, we survived. There it is. There it is, guys. Episode two for Fears of Fathom Norwood Hitchhike. What a pretty creepy little story i guess the fact that these are like supposed to be like something that people actually experience is what actually makes them very creepy even though they're not super overwhelmed with like chases or monsters or anything like that just the fact that knowing that this definitely could happen to somebody is very creepy so yeah i really enjoyed it if you guys want to see episode three hit that like button on this video let me know in the comments and guys i'll catch you guys on the next one take care have a good one peace out yeah yeah